Hey guys and girls, it is Ashwin again, and yes you are seeing Cod Ghost for the first time on my channel. Plenty of you guys and girls have been asking for it, and that's exactly why I'm bringing you it. I've been playing GTA for the last two months, and I've literally not played Cod in at least five months I would say. Now I can't remember when my last Cod video was uploaded, but because you guys have been asking for it and I have got paid today, I went out and bought this and I thought I would give it a go, and usually what I do is I bring my first game of any COD that I get, no matter how good, no matter how bad, but this was actually my second game, my first game, I was in the middle of it, and then someone was at the door, so I had to go and answer that, and obviously I was just stood around, and that really wouldn't have made for an entertaining gameplay, me just stood around, um, getting killed all the time, but I, I'm going to kind of give my first impressions, obviously this game's been out for like three weeks now, so you've all got your own opinions on the game, and I'd like to thank everyone who's given me some feedback on my other videos, because that's what I was asking for. I thought it was time that I decided to play this myself and I've had a few games after this one and the maps are huge, this is what everyone was saying, the maps are absolutely massive and of course there's no ground war I mean some of them even with ground war would be immensely big anyway, I don't even think I've played them all um, but I do, so far I'm liking it but come back to me in a week or two then I will actually know exactly how good or how bad it is but so far I think it's pretty cool um, but you obviously think that from a new game that's what happens to it with every new game. But I like the fact that people die fairly quickly. That's how, exactly how it should be in life. Although you'll see one of the kills in this where I do shoot someone first and I die. And I was I watched the kill come back thinking, what the hell? Um, the gun I'm using here is the Honey Badger, which I obviously I really don't have a clue what is going on. I don't have a clue about the kill streaks and stuff. I've called in a guard dog. I don't think I've got to the one above that yet. I don't really understand the perks or anything else what's going on as of yet. Give me a week um, and I will hopefully start getting used to the maps, used to the guns, used to the kill streaks, and figuring out what's best to use. I don't know, and I've I've, I've had to fish my headset out. I've literally not used it. That's that was the one of the great things about playing GTA for me was the fact that I didn't have to wear a headset all the time. You could just play it for hours on end. Um, but apparently you really do need the headset on this because there's dead silence and I've been told you really dead silence which I had on this class. I don't I didn't even make a class up. Um, this is this is basically the class I was given and I thought I'd just try this gun out. So I've not I can't comment on any of the guns and stuff. I don't as I said I don't really know what's going on. I don't know the maps or anything. Um, so I'm a massive noob. Um, so the fact that in this game you'll see that I do go positive at the end, I was pretty chuffed with it. And that's something else I've got to get used to as well. I don't know what the knife is like, I, I'm so, I've am so really not been paying attention to COD for the last, since it's been out for the last three weeks. I've been focused on playing a bit of GTA and obviously busy with work and stuff. But I am enjoying it, um, I don't think, I've had called in a few of those guard dogs and, I, and they're absolutely shit. I think it gets me one kill in this, but usually they're just really easy to kill and I've killed other people's as well. Um, I don't know what, if there's titles and emblems on this. I'm going to guess there is, because there was on Modern Warfare 3, so I'm going to guess there's titles and emblems, so I might go for those again. I know there's chem strikes, um, I'll try and get a few of those, and I don't think there's a theatre mode, but which means I'm going to have to record every single game, which I hated about Modern Warfare 2, I really didn't like that, but if it makes the connections better, then you can't really complain about it, so we'll see, but... If you guys can recommend anything to me, class setups or whatever, what's the best gun to use, then I will happily give them a try because I'm, as I say, I'm a new beginner trying to get used to the controls because they're totally different on GTA. Like in the first, like obviously this is my second game. In the first game, I was tapping X, thinking that was run, and because that's what it is on GTA, but it was just jumping everywhere. I was like, what the hell? And all you have to do is push down the analog, and this was the kill I was on about where I shot him first and he killed me, but. Whatever, but yeah, I didn't know how to do that, and shooting and aiming is the front two um, back buttons, whereas on GTA it's the back two, it's um, L1, uh, L2 and R2, so it does take a bit of getting used to again, and I'll need to get used to the maps, as I've said, but so far I am enjoying it, it's okay, it seems pretty cool, and I'm going to play it again after I've uploaded this video. Um, I need I need some tips, I really do, I need some guns, I need the best guns to use. I've heard the honey badger is okay, but I'd rather use an SMG because you, you will move around quick. I think this is an assault rifle, and at least I've got the gun right this time because I remember playing on Modern Warfare 3, and I think I was using the UMP in the first game, and I thought it was something else, or I was using the G36C, and I thought it was the UMP. Can't really remember, but I much prefer the feel of this straight away rather than what I did on Black Ops 2. I don't know if there's much bullshit going on, um... They really do need some smaller maps, but I probably won't get the DLCs. I'm not really fussed about that, and 
PS4, a few people have been asking about PS4, can they add me as a friend? I'm not going to get that until the new year when it, the price comes down to, it, I think it's about 350 quid to start off with. So that's that's reasonably priced anyway compared to the Xbox One, but I'm not going to be getting an Xbox. I'm sticking, I've always had Sony and I will always be getting a PlayStation. So someone said, I don't know if this is correct, that you can have 2,000 friends. That seems like a hell of a lot. I mean, I've got plenty of subs, but I doubt like 2,000 of them are even watching COD anymore. You get bored and you move on. And I don't know what it'd be like to have... Obviously, all 2,000 are not going to be on at the same time, but just to have even just, like, say, 200 people on and getting spammed with invites all the time, it it does get a little bit annoying at times. So we'll see, but I will add. I will find a way of adding some more people. And right there, I didn't have a clue where that guy was. This is the thing. I don't know. I don't know these maps at all. Um, it's really weird wearing my headset again and trying to get used to the sounds. I had dead silence on. I don't know if there's a sit rep perk. If there is, please let me know. Please let me know what it is. I don't know what level you have to be to make a new class. I really, I am a massive noob. It's like literally like I've not played COD before. Um, but I will hopefully get back into the swing of things and I will start uploading some chem strikes. And who knows? I might go for a chem strike with every gun, but. It might get boring, I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of stuff, so I might just do a bit of trolling. I'm going to try not worry about my KD too much, I don't want to get stressed out over this game. That's what I was doing on Black Ops 2, um, since I, because when I first got Modern Warfare 2 as my first COD, I was playing it just for fun, and then once, once I started getting better at it, then I started worrying about my KD, and that's when I started losing interest and really getting angry with the game. Um, so I'm going to try and have a bit of fun, I will... Ideally, I'd like. I don't know what a good KD is. My KDs have gone up all along each COD, so I, it'd be nice to have it a high one. But uh, it's not the end of the world as long as I can bring you entertaining gameplays. So obviously, this is not going to be the most entertaining game because it was like my first full game on it for, and, and my first game on COD for five six months. So I do. I am a massive noob, but the games that I've played, I'm playing Team Deathmatch here, and a lot of them, like I've had a few after this one, they. They've gone the. They've not last. They've not gone to the score. They've gone to the time limit, um, because the maps are so big. So that's one of the annoying things. But anyway, guys, this video is about to come to an end. Um, close victory there for my team. I think I went 15 to seven in my first full game. So not too bad. But hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully you're enjoying the fact that I'm uploading COD again. And there will be a lot more to come. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you all later. Bye bye for now.